Yeah, and that's it. We are at around 80% progress. We were supposed to have actually finished like three months ago. Yeah, but uh, many other factors uh, came in. To be specific, weather and, uh, and secondly, uh, the design changes that happened there along that increased the scope so greatly. Yeah, but uh, we are supposed to, actually we are intending and planning to hand over this project according to the new extension uh, granted on 7th of January next year. It was a challenge sending uh, samples. For example, like uh, during COVID, the samples would come from the region and we receive them here and then would send them to CPHL or UVRI, but at that time there was also lockdown. The results would come in say two days' time, but we think if the turn, turn around time for this uh, getting results, if it is decreased and if we can easily do it here and then get results, it would do greatly help us. This uh, laboratory that we have just toured will be able to, to, to guide uh, the physicians, the health workers, on, on, on detection and uh, diagnosis of diseases. So we are, we, we have, uh, we are looking at a, a, an international and a, 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 an international standardized laboratory that will conduct all the tests that will be recognized internationally. Uh, for the past years, uh, you, uh, most of, some of the tests would not be managed, would not be conducted here because of the equipment and because of the space.